Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. Well, now it's time for a little fun. To start things off, we have an automotive quiz for you. Of all the Grand Prix races run on city streets, which is the third oldest? The first and most famous, of course, is the Grand Prix of Monaco run on the streets of Monte Carlo. And second is the Long Beach Grand Prix in Long Beach, California. And the third oldest? I'm sure most of you guessed the Grand Prix of Eloy. That's right, Eloy, Arizona. Host of the third oldest street Grand Prix in the world. Located in the desert, halfway between Phoenix and Tucson, Eloy is a town of 6,100. Racing cuts right through the heart of the business district here, creating a very tight one-mile race course. And since this is small-town America, not Monte Carlo, it's easy to find your way around. Just start at the city park and then drive around the bank. Keep going and then take a right at the local lumber yard. Now you want to pick up a little speed as you pass the police and fire departments. Just before the high school grounds, hang a hard right. And that'll take you back to Main Street. But you're not through yet. Turn left now at the funeral home and then right again to the park. And that's the Eloy Grand Prix. But before you think that this is some sort of automotive free-for-all, we should tell you that the Eloy Grand Prix is sanctioned by the Arizona Sports Racing Association, or ASRA. At the driver's meeting, ASRA officials went over the strict safety rules, and they take these rules very seriously, including the 11th commandment, thou shalt not pass on a yellow flag. Safety is also the reason that miles of chain link fence and two million pounds of concrete barriers are placed around the town. Bleachers from the high school placed in strategic turns provide an excellent vantage point to view the racing. An inexpensive pit pass will take you behind the scenes with the racers in the pits. You can rub elbows with a pole position winner or concentrate on more pressing sports matters. Of course, there's always plenty of food to eat or a shady tree that makes just the right place to watch all the racing. And it's good racing. There are six groups of cars racing for six trophies. Each group is made up of different types of cars. One group features improved touring and showroom stock cars. Now, even though these cars may look like your basic grocery getters, the way they're driven would definitely spill the milk and crack the eggs. Formula cars of all types abound at Eloy, too. VW engines, four-cylinder Fords, and even motorcycle engines turn Main Street into a hornet's nest of noise and excitement. Traditional sports cars add to the fun. These small four-cylinder classics represent a who's who of racing history. Production-based Triumph Spitfires mixed with Porsche 914s, Lotus Cortinas, and even a Pinto or two. Vintage cars such as this bug-eyed Sprite, complete with a frog's tongue dangling from the grill, add even more color to the racing field. Exotic-looking sports racers provide thrills and sometimes spills. The tight Eloy course can quite literally turn your day around or provide wall-to-wall -wall excitement. Boy, that concrete sure looks hard. And when the big boar, Corvettes, Mustangs, Camaros, and Thunderbirds go fender to fender, there's more smoke and noise here than in a gunfight at the OK Corral. This muscular pack also includes lighter, more nimble Datsun Z cars, Porsches, and even a full race-prepared VW Rabbit. The tight, twisty Eloy course is a great equalizer, giving all a fair chance at taking home a trophy. But there is one drawback to the Eloy Grand Prix. There are more ways to overwhelm your waistline here than you can imagine. There are terrific Italian sausages, fabulous Hispanic dishes, and of course, the Southwest has some of the best ribs and chili on earth. And that's just for openers. So forget the diet and enjoy. But the Eloy Grand Prix is about more than just cars and food. It's about people. People like Gene Cosmano. He's known in Eloy as Mr. X. He started racing sprint cars over 40 years ago. 
And there's also the father-daughter race team of David and Candace Elsabush. David has returned to racing after a 20-year layoff. Candace is a four-time regional champion and record holder. She's famous for her two-inch long fingernails, usually seen as she accepts the winner's trophy. And then there is Lauren Welch and his fiance, Binky. Lauren had a good weekend, winning the two major races in his Formula V. Lauren also won the hand of Binky. They were married in front of the gazebo with thousands of race fans and friends in attendance. And we, too, found friends at the Eloy Grand Prix, plus a great weekend of ribs, romance, and racing. Arizona's Eloy Grand Prix is a great race in a great place. Hometown USA. And we'll see you next time.